Good morning, all you lovers and fighters. I'm taking off on the great cross-country holiday road trip. Leaving Portland this morning at 6 a.m. And hoping to pull into Helena, Montana tonight by 7. So, here's to all the love in the world going out to all those who need it. I'm gonna hit the road and gonna do a little travel log to share with y'all. Happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. Hope to see you sometime soon. Give your close ones a hug for me and here's a hug for you. That's what a hug looks like on video. See you soon, hopefully. Bye. All right, first rest stop. I met the Boardman rest stop off of I-84, still in Oregon, but uh, east of the Dalles. And uh, let's see, you know, just had to do the job that you do at the rest area. But I wanted to say I'm driving uh, a newer car and I was trying out the cruise control, right? And I noticed this button that had like a steering wheel with two lines on the sides, one on the right and the left. And I turned it on and the car steers itself. I mean, it says to keep my hands on the wheel, you know, I mean, they don't want to give me a reason to sue if I get in an accident, but I'm not kidding. It steered through curves. Like I was, not really touching the wheel. Of course, now, now I am opening myself up for litigation, but it was remarkable. I actually refilled my water bottle on a straightaway with no worries. Not that I'm gonna be doing that on the regular, but modern cars, robots, am I gonna make it? Will my car take over? Will my car start making these videos and posting them? Maybe it's doing that right now. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, back on the road. Good morning. It's day two of the travel log. I'm standing in front of the capital of Montana. I've just had breakfast with the governor and uh, it wasn't really impressive, I have to say. Uh, he also punched another reporter just for fun while we had breakfast. I didn't understand why, but thankfully my friend Lisa Lena showed up and got me out of there. <laughs> so uh, day two, heading to Bismarck, North Dakota. It's very chilly out here. But a new day is dawning, and there's a crow crowing. Once again, there's the capital. If you're a reporter, stay away from the governor. See you soon. Hello again. I'm on the road. I'm going through eastern Montana. Uh, yeah, had a great breakfast in Helena with my friend Alisa Lina. And uh, I decided to go a different route than she had suggested. Sorry, Elise and Lena. Um, Google had said, hey, you can cut a lot of time off if you go this other way. Which is like State Highway 12 to other state highways. It's more of a straight line towards Bismarck. So I decided to go that way. And, and I'm kind of glad because there's been absolutely no other traffic and it's uh, pretty beautiful and uh, if there's one thing I like on long drives it's not seeing other motorists and seeing a lot of beautiful landscape so right now uh, going through some broken lands and that there's like big kind of stone hills breaking through and then there's also rolling grasslands and some forest lands. 
fair amount of cattle here and there, but uh, by and large, mostly open. Sun's breaking through, and it's actually 57 degrees outside, so it was 26 this morning when we were talking earlier. Um, but yeah. I hope you are too. So, I'll give you a little bit of the landscape look. Look, see. Here it is. The landscape look, see. Where you can see, obviously, there's some cliffs and things up there. Definitely got some blue sky, and there's rivers cutting through it. And I have to admit that there must have been a lot of horse thievery all over the West because uh, every place I go, there's like horse thief river, horse thief lake, horse thief butte, horse thief hill, horse thief cafe, horse thief clinic, horse thief hospital. Horse Thief Fleet Market, Horse Thief Gulch, Horse Thief whatever. So, uh, yeah, glad that, uh, I hope everybody got their horses back. That's, that's all I hope. Anyway, another report from the road. Hope you're all doing well. Woo! All right, I'm at another rest stop. Thankfully, it's sunny out. I'm on the very edge of Montana, about to enter into North Dakota. And there's not much out here. It's amazing how much of America is just an open wasteland with a freeway going through it. Maybe that's the new description of our country. Either way, just a reflection. I'm exhausted. I'm in my bed in the hotel in Bismarck, North Dakota. I think I'm gonna sleep a little later tomorrow, but I do have less of a drive hoping to actually end up in northwestern Wisconsin tomorrow night. Yay! Almost there! Well, at least after getting through Minnesota and North Dakota. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we are. Day three. Starting out in Chili Bismarck, North Dakota. Hit the snooze button, I think a few too many times, but, uh, you know, Wisconsin's going to be there, and so will I. So, yeah, leaving the luxurious Ramada Inn, and off to get some gas, breakfast, and then the road. See you on the interwebs. Had a great breakfast with local flavor at the old Little Cottage Cafe in Bismarck. I recommend it. You get really homey service, and uh, oh, don't you know? And uh, they fill up your coffee almost like every two minutes. Uh, and I loved it. It was like being around my aunts, which I'll see soon. So stop in at the little cottage cafe, North Dakota, Bismarck. It's really homey. Look, I, I don't even know where I am anymore. It's just endless miles of I-94. I just, I just have to keep driving until I can stop. That's just how it's gotta go. So, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll see a sign, I don't know. It's just miles. I'll let you know when I find out.
Uh, hello everybody, this is another travel log, and uh, we're here catching the winter animals of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. I'm here with my tour guide, Amy. Hello. Thanks, Amy. Amy's an expert at cardboard wildlife, and she's taken me here today to give me a lesson or two. What, what else do we see over here, Amy? Wow. Yeah. Of course, there are the penguins of Chippewa Falls. Penguins. The Christmas mice. Oh, oh, look at that. The ducklings, the raccoons. Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. They look so, and they have winter coats on. This is what they mean in Wisconsin when animals put on winter coats. <laughs> They're literal winter, winter coats. Anyway, Chippewa Falls, cardboard animals, wonderful lights. See you later. Thank you, Amy Tour Guide. <laughs> Happy to help. Thanks. Hello. I am inside Wisconsin State Lines. I can feel the dairy force flowing through me. I'm only a few hours, maybe even just a couple hours, from my end destination. And, uh, yeah, had a great night with my good friend Amy. So, thought I'd stop, say hey. It's 19 degrees. I'm not wearing enough clothes. So I'm done doing this. See you again soon. All right, I'm in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm right ne next to the Milwaukee River. And one of the icons in Milwaukee is standing here with me. Henry Winkler, AKA the Fonz. Hey. I'm sitting here with the bronze Fonz in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. My husband is ghosting us in the background. And you know, how often do you get to hang out with the bronze Fonz? Almost never. You have to be in Milwaukee to do it. So I'm doing it and He's got perma smile, which is weird because recreational marijuana is not legal in Wisconsin. So it's just that he's cool, and that's that. Hey, right? Way to go, Fonzarelli. All right, shit's getting intense. It's, it's really snowing in Nebraska. I'm in Iowa, kind of third of the way through Iowa. I think I can make it to Omaha, which is uh, just over the state line in Nebraska. But I don't know if I'll be able to stick to my plan beyond that. Already a third of I-80 is closed in both directions in Nebraska. So the adventure begins. Shh. Be quiet. Don't startle him. Hello. I'm at uh, Hutton Wildlife or Hutton Wetlands. Some wildlife reservation just outside of Laramie, Wyoming. Hutton something. I just uh, shot 12 pronghorn deer, something like that, pronghorns, with this. I'll share them later. They're tasty. Oh, by the way, you should see what I see. Way up in the sky. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't it just... Oops. Ah. Trying to get it to focus on that. There it is. The beautiful colors and my bald head. There you go. From South of Laramie, Wyoming. Good night.
called Hagerman Fossil Beds. And I'm standing at the historic Oregon Trail overlook. So that kind of brownish cut in the hill behind me is part of the old Oregon Trail. And uh, about a mile up the river, it was incredible. And just the piles and piles of dead oxen bones and broken wagon wheels that were just sitting there. And of course, a mile before that, there was the great dysentery grave that no one talks about. This is me reporting from the old Oregon Trail in Idaho. Take care of your oxen, fix your wagon, and boil your water. Welcome to the modern world. There it is. The old Oregon Trail is also home to wind power. Okay, that's it. Bye. Quick update, still about 100 feet from the Oregon Trail Overlook and I came to this wonderful park building that looks like it's a gathering place for tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds have rights too and these tumbleweeds are organizing for better pro protection from the wind. So whatever you do, don't bring an open flame. That's all. Let the tumbleweeds tumble. Don't be a dick. Well, I made it home. It's after the new year. I'm back in my house with all my beasts. Mr. Will is behind me. Hi, Mr. Will. Do you want to say anything? No. He doesn't want to talk to you. But I do. Anyway, I made it. I survived. Live to tell the tale. Have a great day.